What helps inordinately with the positivity habit, and shifting from negativity behavior, is to make a resolute and concerted effort to not express irritation, annoyance or other such reactions when alone in private. To not react to the TV, or our own stupidity or whatever in these ways. We train our brain when we do this, and this mindset carries over to how we interact with others and life in general. If we learn instead to just let that stuff be, let them go, and understand we don't have to be irritated or annoyed, it's a choice. Doesn't make us any less good if we don't respond to negativity with negativity, just makes us contributors to more downward spiral. We can respond to the negative in many different ways, and that's the key to unrelenting positivity, training ourselves to respond in alternate, and positive ways, learn to actually see the world differently and thus react differently. This does not mean we cease to see negativity, not at all, but we see how our reactions to negativity are the issue, and through our reactions, we come to our responses, and here we can make a phenomenal and profound difference to the world, just by changing how we habitually and automatically react. We can make those reactions positive, and thus profound. When we go further, focusing on how we feel, that's when it all changes. It's not just thinking positively which is important, but taking that extra additional step to feel that positivity, that's when the world changes for us. Nobilia.org Self-Discovery Project Hashtag unrelenting positivity Hashtag positivity Hashtag train the brain Hashtag emphasis Hashtag doing good